rumors swirled around the opening of Olivia Wilde's latest film, Don't Worry Darling, but that could be because the film isn't as innocent as it looks. Set in a mid-century desert community, it suggests women dress to send their husbands off to work on what's called the Victory Project. There, they presumably concoct the answers to problems we haven't even encountered. When they come home, their loving families are waiting with drinks, well-cooked meals, and hours of clever conversation. It's an odd Betty Crocker-like existence that suggests all is not well. And soon enough, a newcomer named Alice, played by Florence Pugh, discovers a friend has mental issues. Instead of helping her, others shun her. By the time Alice sizes up the situation, well, it's too late. Meanwhile, her husband, played by Harry Styles, is climbing the victory ladder, winning the attention of the big boss, played by Chris Pine. Wilde, who also stars as Alice's friend Bunny, doesn't tip her hand through a good three-fourths of the film. There's something afoot, but what? Others have suggested this is a Stepford Wives world, but the women who live in it manage to have perpetual spa days and don't really mind house parties with the neighbors. So what then is going on? Thanks to Pew's probing performance, we see the problems and discover there's more than a glitch to this not-so-West world. Through her own breakdown, she's able to get at the truth and learn who's doing what and why. Not quite as clever as Jordan Peele's Get Out, Don't Worry Darling does have an agenda, but it takes too long to introduce it. When the ending comes, it's clear we wouldn't have felt so cheated if we had been clued in earlier. Pew and Styles are quite good. Wilde continues to impress with direction that's daring and a bit devious. When she gets Styles to dance in front of a group of his peers, we know Don't Worry Darling isn't going to be just another film. And certainly it isn't. It's the flex of a good director who just needed a better writer. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.